All right, so the first food we are going to try is not a cow, obviously. It is actually called Pakwan, and it is typical here from Jasa Mare. This is turning into a food hunt. I'm just like literally walking everywhere asking who makes Pakwan here. I think I'm just late, that's all. Oh my god, where is Pakwan? Hello! Hello! Hello. This, the small one here? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, apparently it's over there. The one here is closed right now, so. We can try. So is this the pack one or not? Oh, thank you, sir. Wow, look at that. That looks beautiful. All right, guys, I've got the pack one. My first time ever trying it. So it looks like a fried dough, basically like a fried chapati. And on top, you've got some dal, some fresh tomatoes, fresh onion, cilantro. It looks delicious. And I think I'm just supposed to break it and eat it like that, just looking at people around me. Mm. Oh, this is good. This is very light. Oh wow. Let me explain. This is super crispy. Literally crisp and breaks into your mouth. It has a super light taste. It's not like thick and oily and heavy. No, no it is super light. And then mixed with all the dal and the fresh tomato, the cilantro, the onion, really adds a lot of flavor to it. It's like the combo between chapati, pizza, mm, tacos, all that united into that that amazing big round thing this is so so good guys really enjoy it totally understand why people would have that for breakfast that is definitely on the top of the list of things you need to try if you come into Jalasalmer try the pack one and it's a morning thing so don't be here too late right now it's 12 p.m. I'm super late so just don't miss out on that super good happiness expressed in a cow all right now we're gonna try the local chapati which is a super thick chapati and apparently people come from five-star restaurant chefs go to that one place to try that special chapati cannot wait to try it it's a bit further i might have to run there just because i have to get on time back in the hotel so let's go i think we're gonna call this the running food review show i just ran to this location it's supposed to be around that Hotel Mirage in Jaisalmer and the place, there is no name, it's just a street thing and he's cooking Milep Chapati which is supposed to be a natural thick chapati people even from 5 stars restaurant come here to try it so I can't wait to see what this is all about if I can find a place ooh, it might be over there I see tables that's a good sign lots of people, tables mm. Oh, smells like wood fire. I think that's the right place. I clearly this has to be around here, otherwise I'm totally wrong. But there are a few shops here. Let's find the right one. I'm not sure. Let's let's look for it. Alright, this one, this one, this one, or this one. Not sure. Alright, I found a place. And this is where they're making the chapati. Just here, as you can see, it's a wood fire over here. And they're gonna cook the chapati on that hot plate. Thank you, sir. On that hot plate. And it's a very traditional one with a lot of fiber and uh, the wheat is very thick. It's cooking, it's basically finishing cooking. You can definitely tell it's gonna have a great, nice. Oh, yeah, hot. Wow, it's gonna have a great nice wood fire taste. So what they do is they cook it first on the top and then they put it under the fire to have that, that flavor. Thank you. And now I've got a different uh, like curry dal and I think uh, a vegetable. Local vegetable and dal and like raita. Okay. Mixed with yogurt. Oh, okay. Local food inside onion, like a mixed vegetable. And okay, great. Flower from orange from Rajasthan. Okay. And I make Okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you, sir. Original flour from Rajasthan right here for this chapati, which you can feel it's already very thick. Let's try that. I don't think, to be honest, running was a good idea. Look at that. I'm just dripping everywhere. So let's try the local chapati. Let's go. Special from Rajasthan from Jasamia. Oh, wow. Well, it is. Thank you. It is a lot thicker than what I'm used to, definitely. It is more like whole wheat. 
if you had to compare it to something, it would be like whole wheat chapati that you would find in your own country. This is really, really good. I love it. It's super nutritious. You can feel it the moment you bite into it. I'm gonna try it with the dal. A little bit of the dal. Just dip it inside. Mm. As you know, guys, it's just like baguette. You have to dip it into something. Here, you dip it into the dal. And the dal has a bunch of amazing flavors. That is so, so good. You want to say hi? Is that you? Yeah, say hi, video. He's the one who makes the chapati. Very good, sir. Thank you so much. This is so good. I don't need to eat lunch anymore. I'm perfect. Mm. So here we're gonna try the local vegetable right here from the region. Let's take a bunch of them like that. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, just like my mom's ratatouille. No, I'm kidding. This is really good. There is like some uh, fennel inside. There's a lot of flavors. I didn't expect that. I thought it was more round. It is actually spicy. And maybe you can see the colors over there is kind of red. So there is some spice into it. Definitely a great way to start your day if you're here in Jalsamir. Or continue the day. Wow, guys. I'm sweating like crazy. Let's... um. Let's wrap up that awesome dish and let's meet for the next one. We made it to the next location and guys, I'm not alone. I changed my shirt and I've got Trina who joined me. <laughs> Trina got super hungry and well, a local weekend meet me to try a Chandan Shri restaurant because it's a Thai place and apparently it is here super traditional really? logo. Yep. Okay. Are you ready to try it? So, yeah, so we've already had some amazing tallies. We'll let our palate be the tip. Oh yeah, if you haven't watched our Uday Poor Tally videos, please go check it out after that one. Right. Wow, you ready? Let's, Let's go. go. Yeah. I don't know how you get up there though. Okay. You go yeah. through. First impression is that I would never have found it myself. If someone didn't recommend it to me, I would just think it's a sweet shop. Like, okay. Yeah, because you have to go through the supermarket. Ooh, I see people eating. Ooh, oh, I'm getting hungry, Trina. Does it look good? Okay. Yeah, it looks super authentic. Okay, we just placed our orders, and Pierre and I, we got different things. I got a Gujarati tali, and Pierre got a Rajasthani tali. In actuality, the guy said everything is the same except the vegetables. I think that's right, Pierre? Yeah, that's So, it, so. I guess the only way to find out is to try. Okay, guys. Our food has come. I have the Rajasthani tali, and then Pierre, he has the Gujarati tali. I can't remember who ordered what, but this is the way that it's gonna go. So far, everything does look somewhat similar in terms of the rice, the chapati, the papadam. Um, the dal and the curry look the same. What looks different, though, are the vegetables on the side. I just looked at my fingers, and something is very spicy indeed. It's, it's the spiciest really? that I've tasted, yeah. I'm not saying that I can't handle it. I'm just saying that it's spicy. Yeah, yeah. I want to try now. There you go, okay. So here's the curry. Oh, it's not curry. It's some sort of yogurt, some sort of milk, maybe it's buttermilk, something like that. The point is, it's cooling. So then after, yeah, exactly. So then once you've had this spicy doll, very flavorful, but ooh, there's a kick. You have this and the after effect is cooling. It's a little bit sour. Um, there might be some mint or cilantro in there. Guys, if you know what this is, please let me know. But in any case, the two together go really, really well. Mm, okay. Now let me try these two. Very spicy chutney in fact. It definitely is a chutney, but I don't know what this long thing is. It's not as sour as I thought it was going to be. It is very flavorful, not too spicy. So far the spiciest thing that I've tasted today is a doll. I will say compared to the other tallies that we tasted, this one is definitely the spiciest one. <laughs> So I'm gonna try, it's that little vegetable thing and I, I would say it looks like a vegetable curry. Oh wow. What is it? Is it oh, wow. Does it have a kick? It has a real kick guys. A real kick, right? Mm -hmm. A real mm -hmm. kick. It has a real <laughs> kick. It's a vegetable curry. It is really good. I love it because it has a bunch of different vegetables in it. I haven't had that spicy in a while. What is this Super here? Good. Taste this one. I don't know what this vegetable is. I know what it is guys. This is not a vegetable. This is a little bit like the dal bati we had, uh, like the bati. Oh, you know it's what? It's a little piece of it that's inside. Oh, that's we had right. it in the it's dal bati like restaurant. Wheat. That's true. Yeah, okay. so I think made of wheat, little bowl put inside, super good. 
Oh okay. wow, this is delicious. That was really, really good. Totally can handle it, except now it's just a little bit like... No. It's not numb, it's like, you know that... So you need to like cool it down with something sweet. So that's exactly what we're gonna do here. We have these two different bowls. It smells some like a bean or paste or something. Really? Yeah, like a paste. It's a very sugary paste. I'm not sure what the paste is made out of. It's either some sort of wheat or bean or something. Um, it's sugary because I can feel the texture. It's almost like like a crystallized texture in your mouth when you bite into it. Kind of like if you were biting raw sugar. Mm. But it is not as sweet as raw sugar. There you what go. What about that one? So what I was thinking about this one is that it looks drier than mine. It looks fact, lighter not, also. I don't know if it looks lighter. It's coated in something. Oh, look at the orange. It's different. Oh, the coloring is lighter, yes. But in terms of the texture itself, if you squeeze it, you can see that syrup is oozing out of this one. Oh my god. Therefore, it's been drenched in some sort of 100% sure sugar syrup. So. Oh wow, I can see the syrup come out. Oh, it's spongy. It is spongy. So you know what though? The texture or the wheat or whatever it's cooked with um, is very, very similar to mine. The only difference is that mine is dry and this one is a wet one. Um, if I had to choose one, I'm gonna go for Yours. this What guy. is this called? Sweet. Sweet? Is there like a Hindi name or something? Like Godma. Godma? Godma. 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 Both of them are Godma? No, this is Good Morning. Okay, Godma and Good Morning. What? I don't know. Budmon? Budmon? Budmon. 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 I forgot them now. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys got that. See you in a second. Woo. Guys, it is so hot. We had to change one more time in the day. We're sweating like crazy here in Jaisalmer. <laughs> so, to wrap up, Pack one is something you must try. Mainly available until 12, 1 p.m. here in Jaisalmer, mainly around the main area, I would call it. If you don't know where, just ask anyone, they will tell you. The Milep Chapati is behind the gas station, behind the Nataraj Hotel. Super good, super authentic, like super hearty. How do you call that? Lots of fiber, super nutritious, absolutely delicious. You have to try that. Completely different. It's almost like whole wheat chapati. And last, the tally. Trina, what did you think about it? It was a really good tally. I'll have to be honest with you. It was one of the spiciest tallies that I've had yeah. in India. That's for sure. But in terms of taste, super flavorful. Again, I just love the way that you have so many different textures and flavors mm -hmm. all in one dish at the same time. You mix and match to different, the papadam, the chapati, the rice. It was great. It was great. And the refill as usual. So don't miss out on the tally here while you're in India <laughs> or if you're from India, yeah. please. Enjoy it, it's so, so good. So with that being said, guys, there are a bunch of more videos in that area coming up, including the safari here in the desert of Tar, which should be pretty epic. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, Dong! that's the sound it's going to make <laughs> when you hit it. And, and guys, we'll see you in the next episode. We can't wait to share with you more. If you have any food recommendation, head over to Instagram, uh, at inspired by 12 at Pierre T. Lambert, and let us know what you guys think. And with that being said, guys, have an amazing day and make the most of your time on this planet. You never know when it ends. See you guys. Bye. Bye.